Hello everyone, my name is John, and I am live from my mother's basement. Hooray! I wanted to come on here and do kind of a groundswell uh, uh, campaign, or just really set some buzz and some tone for bouncing around what I think Bound for Glory should shape up to be this year for TNA. Um, I know I'm not the only one that's probably trying to put the pieces together. They have just a few months to get it underway and to set up the programs and the fuse and whatever are going to go off into it. Um, and I know I, for one, am excited to see a big pay-per-view outside of the United States. I think that Japan is a great place to go. Tokyo is such a storied wrestling city, and um, I'm glad that you know, since the WWE doesn't like to do their stuff outside of the States anymore, I, since SummerSlam 92, I don't think that we've gotten a, a big show for them outside of the continental U.S., so it's great to see TNA trying to go out and venture into other markets, which are just chomping at the bit for showing how much they love wrestling, too, so... As an overall fan of wrestling and not as a as a fan for any particular company, I just thought that was a, a good a good move. Um, now, in terms of uh, Bound for Glory, you know they always have the the series. It's like a the point system tournament kind of thing. I would almost like them to turn it into more of a King of the Ring style, maybe cut down on how long it is, maybe cut down on the number of people that are involved in it, but I like the concept a lot. Um, maybe it should be by elimination, like two losses and you're out kind of thing. I don't know, but however they do it, I know that I'm, I'm going to be entertained. I always am around this time of year with the Bound for Glory series. Um, Ever since its uh, its inception, I've really I've enjoyed it a lot. So some things I had popping around in my own head are who should win this year, and um, who am I really watching TNA for going into Bound for Glory? What am I expecting? Well, just really, what are some interesting programs and feuds that I feel would pay off? I know everybody is going to have their you know, number one matches in mind that they want to see. And this is just my own opinion. And what I'm really looking for here is for people to throw their ideas out there, too. Um, but I'd like to start off and say that MVP, Kenny King, and Bobby Lashley are absolutely killing it. They have been a great fucking boost of interest for every show that they've been a part of. And I'm really glad that they put these guys together and are given Lashley the run that he has. Um, if I can equivocate this to baseball, this stable is hitting home runs. They have had big, you know, spots up at the plate, and they're they're batting them in. They've been red hot. So I don't expect that by bound for glory, any of this momentum that they've had is going to have been killed and nobody from that stable is necessarily going to be buried or anything like that. I think that they're going to run all the way. I think that Lashley is going to go into Bound for Glory, the champion, and I'm not convinced that he won't still walk out as the champion, but I've got my own prediction for what I think should happen later on. So let that kind of sit with you and marinate for a moment that I do believe that Lashley is going to retain until Bound for Glory, and I very much think it's important that he does. Um, now, in terms of just feuds, and uh, this is a, a tag feud because it's got four people in it that I saw in the New York tapings are just starting to have some story going on with themselves, and I would like to see the tag team of Gunner and Sam Shaw versus Bram and Magnus. 
I don't want this to have any kind of tag titles involved in it. It doesn't need it. It would just be a great personal feud that I think can develop in the next two months to be a really well done blow off program. Maybe they get them in like a Falls Count Anywhere match or just some kind of really great, you know, extreme rules kind of thing. I don't know if it need, maybe it'd be like a tables and ladders and chairs kind of match or a whatever. Just something to really maybe it'll be, end up being like a a big cluster fuck cuz I don't know if they're going to put a bis into this or not. And I, I would hope that he wasn't I would hope that whatever business he had with the Bram and Magnus thing plays itself out. Um I want to see Gunner and Shaw against these two guys because I think in terms of a, a tag team venture, uh, that these guys could end up telling a really good story overall. And I think that the brawling capability and just the the big-time match feel that this would have going into either some kind of a street fight or some kind of match with weapons and bullshit and blood would really... would kind of give that Japanese crowd something to shit themselves over. They'd be really excited for it. Um, and speaking of Japanese crowd, you can't go all the way over to Tokyo without having a program that features Sonata. And um, I know that recently we got the events where Sonata turned on the great Muda. And you might say that Sonata and Muda are going to have a blow-off match here at Destination X in a couple of days. Or that it might carry over all the way to Bound for Glory. But I don't think that's the way that it would go. And if it was me... I would have uh, Sonata end up just being like a a guy that got James Storm to trust him a little bit and then to pay him back for all of the BS involved with dishonoring Muda and disrespecting him. So I would like to see Sonata and James Storm end up in a big grudge match, uh, probably in a cage. It's the way to do it. Um, and I think that that would be a really good one-on-one -on -one and Muda could be, you know, supporting Sonata at that point because it would have been all along Sonata fighting for the respect, you know, that Muda and J Japanese wrestlers and even Sonata deserves because James Storm has really been up his ass lately. And I think that if they play that out, it could have some very good gains and returns. Um, a match that I do want to see before Angle leaves the company is him versus Austin Aries. And I think that even if Angle is not at 100% health, that Aries would be the guy to carry him to a very good match and that the two of them could just work off each other really well. They both have amazing athletic ability. They both have great psychology. They both can work the crowd up to a fever pitch. And in Tokyo, where they respect wrestling a whole great deal, I think that these are the two guys to send at each other. Um... And this have nothing to do for the Bound for Glory series in it. Just have Aries and Angle tear each other apart in another one-on-one -on -one match. And you've got a great sort of build-up over the, over the night in terms of Gunner ver and Shaw versus, uh, you know, Bram and Magnus. You've got Sonata and James Storm. You've got Aries and Angle. And those are three uh, matches that you can build and and mold over the next few months to really plant seeds and to really give it that kind of payoff. Those are matches that I would like to see personally, and I think other people would too. And now let's talk about the big one. Let's talk about the whole Bound for Glory series and what sh technically should happen. Um, you have to know that MVP and Kenny King are going to do everything they can to protect Lashley, but Maybe MVP is jealous that Lashley actually got the shot because he was injured, so he ends up in the Bound for Glory series. Um, manipulates his way. And um, eventually he's going to lose, but I would have him end up going to like the final four guys. I could see it being like a MVP and a Bobby Roode and maybe like a Jeff Hardy or something. And then the one guy that I think um, is is prime and the time to 
to take the belt away from Lashley more than ever, it would be Samoa Joe's turn to to get back to where he belongs, to be a real ass kicker, to be a a no holds barred kind of take no shit, take no prisoners, just beat everybody up kind of guy, to go on a monster run. Um, Because, you know, Lashley has been built up to be this real, I guess, quote unquote, uh, unstoppable destroyer force. Um, You know, Mr. Schlegg likes to call him the Battle Toad, and it's a moniker that's pretty fitting. I mean, if you've ever played that game, you know, you hit a couple of punches in a row, and then a big, huge animated fist comes and pops the fucking guy off the whole screen. There's just, it's it's a no contest. It's Bobby Lashley is one menacing, gigantic man, and I think that you have to put him up against another huge machine, you know, killer of a guy. And I think that Samoa Joe and Lashley, ever since they were in uh, the ring together, and they had a, I believe they had a one-off match against each other, uh, I, I think it's it's time to uh, to go there again. I, I believe at Slammiversary, the way that um, that Lashley advanced was to go through Samoa Joe, and I remember their match being way better than anybody had predicted it was going to be. And I remember just looking at it like two behemoths that were ready to tear each other's head off. And I think that if you build it up and build Joe as this guy that just wins by so many fucking points, just beyond everyone else, just comes back with such a vengeance and actually gets used like the Samoan submission machine that he was back around, like, 08. I think that that's the best way to go. And I think that him and, and Bobby Lashley could have a main event feel to their match and take the fucking place down. And it wouldn't have to be anything except for a wrestling match. It doesn't have to be a cage. It doesn't have to be no holds barred. It doesn't have to be anything silly. It could just be a fight, you know. And these are two guys that have kind of MMA backgrounds, just ground and pound fucking power moves on each other. And I'm getting excited thinking about it just now, so... I want to know what you guys have to say, but that was just me popping off with some ideas of what I think that Bound for Glory is going to be like this year and what I would like to see. So as always, I appreciate all your comments, and I'll get back to you guys when you give them, and thanks for listening. Live from my mother's basement, this is Johnny tagging out.